the more y'all keep showing love, the more I'm gonna keep putting out these bangers, man. You know, last video I said if we get like 10 people to say gem in the comment section, you know, I'd, I'd just be happy, you know. I'm just saying, I I would just, I'd be touched, you know. And we and we got quite a few. We might have got over 10. I'm just gonna say, yo, we're going crazy, yo. The community, the love that y'all showing now is crazy. But first, before we start the video. I got I go y'all gotta drop a like man you, you do you if you guys don't know what the likes does why youtubers ask for likes I understand like okay why you gotta ask for likes man they ask for likes and they don't tell you what to do basically the likes is so you know this video gets recommended to more people you know the more likes the more people it gets recommended to I don't know it's YouTube's algorithm so I'm gonna just ask you you know you watching this video you just watching you, you know you watching just press that like button right now just, just do it you know press the like button just, you know what I'm saying? It's free. Just do it, man. If you want to help me out, I'm just saying, yo, if you're loyal and you support me, just hit that button, man. It, it don't cost none. I don't say it much, but, you know, saying that I'm, I'm explaining to y'all what it does. It helps me a lot. So, you know, if you're, t you don't have to click if you don't want to, but if you just support me, just click it, man. I would, you know, if you like the video, comment down in the comment section, liked. Liked, liked, liked. I, that's all I want to see in the comment section. Liked. That's the word for the day. Liked. And don't put in the comment section if you didn't like it. I know some of y'all gonna do that. It's cool either way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not tripping. I used to be that guy that didn't want to like anybody's videos. Like, yo, why should I like the video? I ain't liking shit. But it really does help you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do it if you don't want to. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Just sit back and enjoy the content. But we got today, man. We got the 6-7 guy out today, man. I really wasn't gonna make my guy 6-7 at the start of next gen. It was crazy. I was gonna make him like 6-4 6-5. But judging by the way everybody's making a build, everybody's going big, power forward, power forward, got more badges. So I was like, yo, you know what? I'm going to go power forward. And I found out I can go 6-7 and have like the max speed. My, my speed was off the charts. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to make my guy 6-7. But, you know, always the, the guards are going to be um, faster. But this year, bro, it's different. The power forwards can keep up with the guards. No problem. What game? What 2K you know, bro? A power forward is as fast as a guard, and a power forward is the main point guard build. No, no 2K. I understand a point forward, but those are small forwards. Those are not power forwards. You know what I'm saying? Those are like LeBron builds, whatever you want to call it. Power forwards like a Paul Millsap or a Blake Griffin. You're not running a one. You're not running a one, baby. But often I know is that before I'm gonna just get into all the details of the video, I want to make sure y'all have these two things equipped because it's going to help your build so much more you know what I'm saying speed is such an important factor in 2k and you guys know how to you guys got to know how to be fast you got to outsmart your opponent you got to outspeed him whatever you want to call it so make sure you have I explained this in my past video but please just put on that um <coughs> quick dribble style quick dribble style is probably the best quick, um, dribble style in the game put on quick dribble style if you can just try shifty you know what I'm saying and if you don't have either one, just leave it alone. Because all the rest of the ones are trash. Let me be honest. I know a lot of y'all be rocking a, your favorite player, dribble style. And you don't want to do that. You just want quick to shifty. Because, like, I, I'm not even going to explain it in this video. But if you want me to go into depth with it, why your dribble style matters, I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description below. So go check that out after you finish with this one. And if I forget to put it in the description below, someone just remind me my blockheaded. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a blockhead sometimes. Someone just remind me in the comment section below. But most likely, I put it in there by now, by the time you're watching this. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, you want to put on quick dribble style and you want to put on that Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway signature style. Well, signature size of my, my bad. My bad. Signature size of. Now this is a slightly old clip, but this is what it should look like. You should have the dribble style quick, you know, signature styles up. It should be Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. That's the best one in the game, honestly. That one in Russell Westbrook. I know I explained why Russell Westbrook was the best. You you know, you get that crazy speed boost glitch to one side of the court on your ball hand. That's crazy unexpected, by the way. I caught a hell of people with it. You know what I'm saying? But this one, it's just better to speed boost off of it. Or speed boost out of it, combo it, whatever you know, want to say. I remember in 2K19, I mean 2K19 dribble was so underrated, guys. Yo, comment down below what was your best like 2K dribbling wise, like the best 2K, like how did dribbling feel, like you know, 
what was the best 2K where dribbling felt like smooth, responsive? You can go all the way back to 2K with tan. I don't care. Just let me know in the comment section. So basically, what I'm trying to tell y'all is, as I just try to sell myself right there, that was not green, but I still put them. It's, you know, they still go in. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you want to have quick first step and all that. You want to, of course, you know, what buy a boost? Yeah, you gotta buy that playmaking boost. All you want to, you see, I just used that Tim Hardaway size up right there. All you just wanted to, you, that's that's basically it. That's all you want to do. You pray, hold R2, flick the R stick up, and then find a direction to speed boost off of. You can go either way, bro. You just just look how it, the size up is just so clean. Size up is just so clean. Also, make sure you have those boosts. I know I said it. I'm saying it again. Make sure you have them. Goddamn boosts. And you know, there's always that stop and uh, stop and go, you know, speed boost. That's probably one of the most OP because it comes out of nowhere and you don't expect it. You can literally go left, right of it. You know, left, right, left, right. You could do that all day. <laughs> You'll probably get open. You know, if you're somebody you're going against is not comp, he's just a bot. You're probably going to get open. I'm not even going to lie. Stop and go is probably one of the most overpowered, especially if you have that joint on oh, Hall of Fame, guys. I'm not going to lie. That joint goes crazy. <laughs> But sometimes, you know what I'm saying, we got we gotta we gotta put the cheese away. We gotta put the cheese away and we just gotta play holy. We can't play toxic. You combine all those factors and you put them into yourself, you will probably get the fastest player in the game. You know what I'm saying? Just especially if you have Gatorade too. Well Gatorade doesn't really affect your speed, it's just affect your stamina, but you understand what I'm saying. You can go at it for long and everything else. Who cares? But anyway, if you would put all those factors I said, you will be one of the gods. Just look at me now. I'm gonna hit him with that size up, go any direction I want. I can go left or right. He caught onto my body that time. That's the Hall of Fame clamps. He's such a big body. No homo. Look at it. He got the Ben Simmons. Got the Ben Simmons uh jersey and everything. I was like, okay, this guy, he's, he's playing good defense. But you see, I'm using the Tim Hardaway size up, hitting him with the Curry, trying to drive past him, get a little layup right there. I was like, okay, let me let me tighten up right now. Let me tighten up because this guy is not, but he can't score on me in on defense, whatever. All I gotta do is get good on offense, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta get in my bag. Got my Gatorade, everything in the stage, you know what I'm saying? We're good to go. Pull up from Damn, that's that's the damn near half court. That's the damn near half court in the park it is, but you know, on stage, you're not gonna make that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. So I think I told y'all last a video about the 99 glitch turns out it's only for current gen so i'm probably not gonna upload it. if you do want me to upload it for you current gen user out there i will just tell me in the comment section below because i don't know you know what i'm saying but anyway one of the most op builds in the game right here where, where else are we looking where where else are we looking right now the fastest you know what i'm saying it could probably shoot the bet. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Every boat could shoot the same, you know what I'm saying? But 6-7, dunking on people, dribbling, defense? The Bills put in the game, man. Hands down. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna see you on my next video. Wait. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff, and I'm out. That's all I have to say.